What's up gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be showing you how to be uh, a really good player in Madden 25. We're going to show you that through our Offensive Scheme of the Week. If you guys do not know what the Offensive Scheme of the Week series is, we are going to be uh, formatting a little new thing on our channel. We're going to have some nice playlists. I got some feedback this week. Talked to some guys and they were looking for some playlists for each individual scheme. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to have a scheme and we're going to put it in its own individual playlist every single uh, week. And so for for example, this week's playbook, we're breaking down the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook. So you'll see on my channel now, if you go to my playlist tab, uh, I will have all of the playlists and I'll have this one begun under St. Louis playbook. So for example, all of the uh, scheme of the weeks for last week will, will already be in there. And I'm only going to go back that far just because it's a lot of extra tedious work that I uh, honestly just don't want to do. Uh, I just want to start fresh, start new. So we're going to start with the St. Louis base play today. And uh, the base play for the St. Louis playbook, this is something that I really, really wanted to talk about a lot. Uh, as we were going through here, looking for looking at this playbook, I've been using it a lot in Madden Ultimate Team. And uh, the play that I'm going to use, we have the shotgun bunch week. We talked about that as a base formation last week. And this week we're going to talk about yet another trips formation. I really like the trips tied in. This is actually the, the playbook that uh, Tournament Champion uh, Sirius Mo uses. And his base play here, we're going to be breaking down uh, actually my personal uh, audibles, of course. But the play that I like to use from here in terms of a base play is the uh, drive post. And then we also have the play action audible, which is the play action slot corner. Let me pull it up here for you guys real quick. And you see that it has the corner route. And so we like corner routes. You see that the drive post here has a deep post on the same player. That's the chess match that we can get into. We'll get into that more as the scheme goes on. But for as far as the trips tight end goes, I really like the drive post. We're going to show you why right now. So getting into the defense here, we're going to come out in just a regular uh, man first. We'll show you man and zone. So real first here for the base play, I just want to show you against man coverage. The only adjustments we want to make on this play is we want to take the running back. We want to put him on a wheel route. Uh, we could leave him on that blue route if we want to. And let's show you what that blue route, route, the, the blue route will do. If we wait just a little bit, it's going to release to the flat real quickly there for a nice little pass lead upfield, which it's good. Um, you can do whatever you want. I personally like to wheel route him. Uh, and then I take Douglas here on the left, and I like to put him on a slant route. And we're going to motion in Douglas two snaps and then snap the ball. Our first read on this play is always the wheel route. If they're not honoring the wheel route, we will throw it with consistency. Steven Jackson, one-on-one uh, -on -one in the open field. I like my chances uh, against even Richard Sherman, the best quarterback in the league, and the Men 15 cover vote champion. So our next read on this play is this little slant route coming across the middle. And it's a very good man-beating route. Now, the other couple of routes that I'm going to show you today are not quite necessarily man-beaters. They're more service, uh, better service for zone. So let's take a look here. And you'll see our, our next read here, this corner route with the pass to the outside. It's not always going to be man. As you see there, Bobby Wagner did get a pick. Uh, so you just want to kind of monitor. If it's open, throw it. If it's not open, don't throw it. Don't ever throw a pass that you don't at first least look. But there you see it does beat man. So... Sometimes it'll be banned, sometimes it won't. It's finicky like that. Welcome to Madden 25. And uh, that's all I'm going to have to say about that. Our next read here is this post route over the middle, pass it down the inside, and you see it's just not a good route against man, uh, to be quite honest. But what you'll see start happening is if they start overplaying. So, for example, they may shade white to the out, uh, outside to stop the corner route that we'll be throwing if we, uh, when we call the PA slot corner play, which is a play that I've already broken down on my channel. So now they pass, they bounce into the outside, and now you have that pass lead open. So I hope you see what I'm getting at there. It's a chess match game, and uh, when they work the shades, that's when you work the combo routes and things like that. So, and then our final read here, this is a really one of my favorite routes, is this little inverted in route, and it's a very delayed route. It's only going to be open if they're running, like, max coverage defense. So say so they're, you know, dropping here, they're going to drop this guy here, uh, and, you know, and they're going to play... Uh, you know, heavy mix coverage defense with a user player over the middle to stop that slant route. And we're like, okay, so we're going to wait in the pocket here. And you see this in route just does a really nice job. At, uh, it's a delay read against man, uh, but it's actually more service against the zone. So I've been talking about how this play is really good against zone, and now we're going to show you it against the cover three, one of the most popular zones in the game. So what we do here, again, the, the first read here is always Steven Jackson out of the backfield. And it gets cover three. It's not really that good of a read because it is uh, to the flat. Now, if they're in like a cover three buzz or something, then this would be actually a really good read. Our second read here, this route to Douglas over the middle, is very effective against zone. But what you're going to see here 
is it doesn't get a whole lot of yards against the cover three. And that is because when we face the cover three, you'll see this route to Roddy White is actually going to be wide open over the middle cross. And you see it's wide open over the middle crossing, and we can hit that and work basically just a horizontal stretch of the defense over the middle of the field. And then our next read here as we're cycling through uh, is to Tony Gonzalez on the corner route. This route's pretty good for cover three when they have the flats out there because the running back will hold the flats down. So you see it's just a zone read based off of the defender, where he chooses where he chooses to defend. And then lastly, uh, our final read here against cover two, if they are running some type of cover two scheme, this little route underneath to Julio or uh, Julio Jones, sorry about that. Julio Jones is actually really good at beating the cover two. It's also pretty good at getting the cover three, uh, but in my opinion, it's much better for the cover two. But here you see it does beat the cover three, but you do get a catch tackle. So with, uh, wrapping up this video, guys, but that is how we like to use the shotgun trips tight end against man coverage and zone coverage as our base play. A lot of things that we're going to be talking about as far as reads go and things like that as the week progresses, but this is where your foundation is, and you want to be able to have a play that could beat man and zone as your base play. Uh, when we get into the – one of the things I want to do uh, as we kind of progress here as far as reading the defense, we're going to be talking about over the next couple of things, but one of the things I'm going to do is scheme of the week now – is I'm going to add another video talking about reads. One video, but literally all about how to read the defense for your playbook. So instead of doing the depth chart, uh, instead of doing the depth chart podcast, I'm going to do the depth chart. They're still going to get all the same content. Just stay tuned to the channel. You'll see everything. Uh, but basically, what I'm getting at here is we're going to have one video every week that is all about your reads, and we're going to talk about how to read the how to read the defense when you're running the scheme, and how to read the offense when you're running our defensive scheme. So hopefully, you guys stay tuned for that. That's what we got for you guys today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and if you guys are uh, new to the channel, also leave me a comment. Let me know what you are struggling with in Madden 25 that I could possibly help you out with. Uh, I'm not the best Ben player, but I do try to be pretty good, and I think that I've gotten my game to a, a pretty good level, and I do know a little bit about Madden 25. Thank you so much for your time, and be sure to stay tuned for more Madden 25 tips, tricks, and tactics, and also Madden 15 news. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you guys later.